So it's Sunday night, I'm flying to America in the morning. It's currently just gone five o'clock and I have a lot left to do. I haven't packed at all. I've got a lot of work to do tonight. I need to eat and I don't know what time I'm leaving in the morning. I think my flight's are about half nine. I live about two hours away from the airport. So I'm gonna move up very early, probably leave about five. So yeah, this is gonna be me traveling to Miami, Florida on my own. about quarter to nine now and I'm just starting to pack and Carlisle's not going that well. When I pack, I'm very much someone that lays out all the different things. I don't know what it is, I just prefer everything laid out before I put it in the case, just makes me feel a little bit better, makes me feel OCD a bit better. Speaker is a must. This is the first time I'm going not as a swimmer on a camp and I don't know what there is I need to take, just clothes, you know, like a bag, toiletries bag, whatever you call it, stopwatches. And I don't know what else I'm going to take, but I don't know why I'm still finding it so difficult to pack. It's really taking me a long time. So, I'm now in Florida and I'm about to leave, which is great. <laughs> um, I understand I started this vlog at home and I realise I've done absolutely nothing while I've been in Florida. I forgot how much time is taken up as an athlete and obviously on this camp I've not been an athlete but I've been doing the same hours as the athletes have if that makes sense so when an athlete will go to the pool we'll also go with them as coaches and I'd completely forgotten how much time it takes out of your day like where usually I'd be working at home this is now taking an extra kind of like six hours or often more out of the day where we're traveling to the pool or traveling to the gym or actually going through the sessions so when I've been doing my work here I literally haven't really had time to do any you know vlogging and to be honest there's not been that much that i would have taken videos of anyway we're obviously being very cautious because of covid so we're doing no kind of like restaurants no malls no cinema nothing like that we're literally treating this as an outside camp so the only indoor areas we've been is our apartment and then we've also been into the supermarket once but any other time than that we've done all our food shopping you know being delivered and things like that so there's not very much i would have filmed anyway but I do understand I've not filmed anything. So what I have been doing is filming some content for Jacuzzi, which I'm really excited about. And I've been filming it in this absolutely tiny park. And the reason I'm filming it here is that I am way too self-conscious to film it anywhere else. I tried just doing it as I was walking down the street and the second I held the camera up, I just felt like every single person out of the seven and a half billion people on this planet were looking straight at me holding this camera up on the street. So I won't be doing that. Um, so yeah, I've been filming really exciting like mini series with them which I don't know when it'll be released, but it's basically around, you know, points that we work on as athletes that are, you know, often we're really good at, and then some things that we're really bad at as athletes, and then also how we can take them into our own lives as not athletes. So I'm really excited about that. But as I said, very sorry for not filming very much. I might try and film some footage of me flying back home. So I came out a few days later than the other guys did because I was working over the weekend and I'm flying back a few days earlier as well. So I'll work at the weekend when I get home. I think I'm landing about 9 a.m. on Friday morning so then I can work over that weekend. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna film anything else in this vlog, but I don't know if this is ever gonna make it onto YouTube, but if it does, I'll see you at the airport. <laughs> So as you can see from that video, as I was coming home from Florida, the Uber driver who took me to the airport, not all the way home, because that wouldn't be possible, would it? Um, first of all, she was on the phone speaking, I have no idea what language, very loudly with someone who sounded like her close relative, and then proceeded to play outrageously loud, I think, Mexican music, I don't know. And when you're trying to work and you're in traffic, it's just not what you want. Neither of those things is what you want. Yeah, I'm back home now and I'm gonna finish off this vlog and I'm just gonna end it with a video that we took in Florida. When I swam, my main event was a 200 breaststroke and my best time I did when I was 18 years old and I went 212.5 long course for the 200 breast. And I've swam, I think, three times in total 
since I stopped swimming nearly two years ago and I've not done over 3,000 meters in all of those swims put together. And a little bit of context, when I trained, I did about 60,000 meters per week in the pool. So I've literally done a 20th of what I do in a week in two years. And I think it was Elliot suggested on my last session in Florida that I should be pushed in since it was my last session. And that idea just didn't run. So then the next suggestion was I dive in and do a 200 breast long course and see how it goes. And I went very slow. So let's just bear in mind, when I was in my prime of a swimmer, I wasn't that bad, I went pretty quick. But yeah, here's my 244 from two years out of swimming. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next vlog. Clarification confirmed. Clarification confirmed. 